Hi, this is the instructional video for the new beginners. Um, I'm going to go through the etiquette when we enter and leave the dojang and uh, the basic movements and exercises. Okay, so we always start heels together, toes apart, hands down by our sides. That's called a tension stance or chariot soggy. When we bow, we bow to 45 degree angle and keep looking forwards. That's called kyungye or bow. The next position we're going to do is chumbi, which is parallel ready stance. This is where we start almost every exercise from. The next position we're going to do is called walking ready stance. Done this way. The way we move the hands, we cross them in front of the chest and extend them to the sides. The stance itself is one shoulder width wide and about one and a half shoulder widths long. We use this exercise uh, when we're practicing our front rising kicks, which we use as a stretch. The front rising kick, we lift the leg, keeping it straight, we put it back, we cross the hands and make a twin block. And again, from the side, keep the leg straight, put it back, make a twin block. The next exercise we're going to do is called a sitting stance punch. We make a sitting stance one and a half to two shoulder widths wide, both feet pointing forwards and the knees pushed out to the side. When we clench the fist, we roll the fingers, then pull the thumb in. We make sure the thumb is not inside the fingers so we prevent injury. We extend one hand, and the other one goes back to the waist. So, if you're just starting to learn how to punch or you're helping your child, the best way to do it is to get them to make a triangle with the arms first and then pull the hand back. Doing this motion helps them to keep the shoulders straight and avoid leaning this way. So we extend the hand and bring it back, keep the triangle and we keep the line of the shoulders. Once we've got the hang of that, when we punch, we pull the opposite one back at the same time, like so. Hana. Do. Set. Net. We can imagine if you or your child have got a belt and it's tied around a tree. This hand's got one end, this hand's got the other. So as I pull this one back, the actual belt is pulling the other hand out as it goes around the tree, this way. The next thing we're going to do is practice our low block and our walking stance. So the only difference between a walking stance and a walking ready stance is that the normal walking stance doesn't have the arms out to the side. The dimensions are still the same, one shoulder width wide, and about one and a half shoulder widths long. So we step forward into the walking stance. We cross the hands back of the wrist to back of the wrist. We can imagine we've got two watches on and the two watches are touching each other this way. We make the block, the inner hand moves down to make the block. The opposite hand comes back to the waist, the same as the punch. So it's here to the start position and then block. Now I'll go through that at normal speed so you can see what it will look like once it's been practiced a little bit. And backwards. When moving forwards and backwards, we need to make sure the stance stays correct and we're not dragging this back foot. What will happen is if I drag the back foot, the leg will not be tense and I won't be able to project the power forwards into the stance. So we try to keep the feet both pointed in the same direction for the walking stance. The next block we're going to practice is called a middle block. Again, we're going to use the walking stance. We chamber one hand on top of the other. 
So the blocking hand goes at the bottom, and again, that one moves to block, and the other one comes back to the waist. This block, we're using the inner forearm, or the thumb side of the arm, whereas the low block, we're using the little finger side. So the fist should be level with the shoulder, not too extended, as that will leave a gap underneath the elbow, so we keep the elbow tucked in. So if we practice that going forwards and backwards, it'll be like so. And backwards. Okay, the next part of the training for a beginner is Seijo Jirugi. There's two Seijo Jirugis numbered one and two. The first one will be using a low block and the second one will be using a middle block but everything else about the two are identical. For a beginner we can start with one hand extended. We start with the left hand out first. This means each time we turn we're going to turn to our left. I will count out loud so you can work along with it. Hana! We step forwards and punch. Do! To begin with, we step in and turn. We step back. We make our start position for the low block. And we make the block. Do! Set! Next. Hana. Do. Hu. I'll now do the other side. Still using the low block, but this side will be performed at normal speed. Same with Seijo Jirugi number two. Hana. Do. Set. Next. Hana. Do. Set. Then the other side at normal speed. Hey! With the blocking movements, it's important to remember to twist the hip with the block. So when I make the start position, I've actually twisted away from my stance. When I finish the block, everything twists back. If you keep an eye on the knot of my belt, at the moment it's facing forwards, I twist away, it's now pointing over there, and when I twist back, we're back into that walking stance. The same goes for the middle block, and we twist. That's to generate power for the block. Thank you.